What's going on today, beautiful people? So we're going to be doing something kind of different and fun today. We're actually going to be doing web design on a Chromebook. Now, I had never had a reason to do that in my computer lab. We've always had Windows and used different editors over the years. Uh, currently, we're using Visual Studio Code, and, and uh, everybody seems to quite like that. But come to find out, you can actually use a Chromebook to do basic web design. So that's what we're going to do today. So this is the first part of kind of a little series I'm putting together. And uh, we need to set up our environment so that you can uh, edit your pages on your Chromebooks and look at them and make changes just like we would on Windows. So the first thing we need is Carrot, which is a web editor. We're going to install that. And then the rest of this is really, really similar to what we would do even if we were in Windows. So we want to download a bootstrap template from startbootstrap.com. Then we want to make a folder for our web design projects. And we're going to extract our downloaded bootstrap uh, project into the web design projects folder we made. Then we're going to open index.html from the extracted files to see it in the browser. Then we're going to set the extracted folder as our project in Carrot. And finally, we're going to make a simple edit to index.html to test that our project is editing our files properly. So it looks like a lot more steps than what it really is. So let's get out into this. And uh, I just want to point out before we get started that I'm not actually on a real Chromebook. I am on something called a virtual machine, and this is allowing me to run something called Cloud Ready that is basically a Chromebook that runs inside of uh, any other guest operating system. In this case, I'm running Windows 10. So my icons may not be exactly like yours. My layout may not be like yours. What I'm going to show you today is close enough so that you can follow along with me and uh, figure it out. So the first thing I need to do is install Carrot. So to do that, I'm going to open a new tab and type in Carrot Code Editor, Google Chrome, and hit Enter. And right here it is. Okay, you do not want to go to Tom's Guide. You actually want to get it from the Chrome Store. And it's a very, very small download, even if your internet access is not the greatest. You should be okay. So I'll do Add to Chrome. Oh, and notice here that it says Runs Offline, and that's very, very important. So Runs Offline. Add to Chrome, and then we just do Add App. And it should download pretty fast. I think it's 2 megabytes. All right, and you may not see Carrot right off, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is click on my launcher over here, and then I'm going to hit my little arrow pointing up. And if you were eagle-eyed, you saw that Carrot was already in the quick list of programs because I had used it, but I had uninstalled it just so you guys could see this process. So now I'm going to click on Carrot to get it open, and it's basically just a text editor. It's a little more fancy than Notepad, but not much, and that's fine. So once we get some code in here, I'll show you how to change your theme and everything. But it's really hard to pick a theme without having some code in place to see how it's going to be highlighted and stuff. So I'll just minimize this for now. And I'm going to go ahead and go down here and right-click on Carrot and pin to my taskbar. I've pinned it down there so that... It will always be sitting there, so I can click on it and continue working on web design. Next thing that we're going to do is download a bootstrap template from startbootstrap.com. Now, I kind of cheated in this case and put me a link in here. So I'll click that, and you can see startbootstrap.com. Now, why would I want to do this rather than starting with standard bootstrap and building on it? Well, starting from scratch in Bootstrap is actually pretty tough. So 
I almost always get some kind of starter template and then build off of it. Now, that may be, you know, not the optimal way for a quote-unquote real web designer to do it, but uh, there's no reason to reinvent the wheel when you have resources like this. So I'm going to go up here to Templates, and then we'll go down to General Page Layouts. These are the, the least fancy, and that's what I wanted in this case. And I want to do this one with heroic features because I like this hero at the top. And remember, a hero is just a, a big, huge area with big text, and usually there'll be a picture background once you flesh this thing out a little bit. But this is the one we're going to download. So you just click on it, and we go down to free download. Let me point this out to you before we actually download it, though. The license for this is MIT license. Now, why is that important? Well, it basically means we're free to do with this whatever we want to do. Okay, so now I'll do free download. And you'll see it download here real fast. And I can do show in folder. Show in folder. If something happens and you don't click on show in folder, you can click on your launcher here. And go to files. Files should always be in here somewhere. And if it's not there, you may be able to go here. I'm not really sure, but let me verify that. Yep, right there is files. Anyway, whichever way that you get to this is fine with me. Now I'm going to click in downloads because that's where Chrome downloads everything by default. You just double click. And we see that it is a zip file. Now, you can't do anything with the zip file until you extract it. I'm going to double click on Start Bootstrap Heroic Features GH Pages zip. And the way that Chrome handles this, or Chrome OS, I should say, is it will mount this zip file as a drive. It's a lot like Mac OS does with DMG files. So in order to do anything with this, I'm going to have to extract it. So I'm going to click on this. And, uh, oh, I had another step here I don't want to leave out. And it's optional, but I do want to make a folder for uh, our web design projects. So let's, let's be good little web designers and do what we're supposed to do. So I'm going to click on my files right here. And then I'm just going to go over here where there isn't anything and right click and go to new folder. And just type web design projects and hit enter. Easy peasy. Okay, now I go back down to this mounted zip file and I'm going to click and hold on this folder and drag it over to web design projects and let go and it says copied to web design projects and then you don't have to do this but I like to tidy up after myself let us unmount this zip file and that's what the little eject um, triangle over here is for it lets you uh, unmount a uh, um, mounted file so now if I go into Web Design Projects, here is our Start Bootstrap Heroic Features GH Pages. Okay, and I'm going to name this something a little simple because that's a little long. So what I'm going to do is right click on this folder and go to Rename. And let's just call it Bootstrap Business. Bootstrap Business. Because we're going to make a little fake business with this template. But that'll come in other videos. I'm talking about over the series, we're going to do a fake business. So now I can double click on this bootstrap business. And we've got a file in here, index.html. And remember on web servers, it, that basically means... That if somebody goes to a folder instead of a file for a web address and there's an index.html in there, that is what the server will pull up instead of showing the contents of the web directory. So let's double click on that. We should get ourselves a new tab. And this part's kind of weird to me, but uh, the home folder here, my user must be called Kronos. Um, 
or possibly that may be my user. I don't know, but I'm signed in with my, my school account. So, but anyway, I digress. Here's my files, and then we made our web design projects and bootstrap business index.html. So basically, we just open this local file in the web browser. So now, let's actually go back to Carrot. Oh, and while I'm down here, I'm going to pin my files to the uh, taskbar. Because a good web designer always needs to get to their files easily. So why would we have to go hunt for the files icon when we can just pin it down there? So now let's go back to current. And if you look at our little presentation here, we're going to set the extracted folder as our project in carrot. So that's precisely what we're about to do. So let's go back to carrot. I'm just going to go up to project and add directory. Project, add directory. And then we've got our web design project, so I'll double click on that. And then there's our bootstrap business, the thing that we extracted. I'll double click on that, and here's all the files. The reason these are grayed out is whenever you're adding a directory, you simply are adding a folder that it's going to scan and find all the files and folders within that file. So I'll click open, and you can see on this right side here, we have a list of all the files and folders are at the top in carrot and they show up as bold and they also have this little arrow, uh, right angle bracket arrow next to them that means you can click it and expand that folder and see what's in it okay and that's not much different than something like uh, Visual Studio Code or what have you okay so that's just our file list now let's open index.html so I'll just go over here where it is and double click on it now we have our code open okay and uh, now this is a good time for us to set our theme now you guys are free to choose whatever theme you want it doesn't matter to me but I'm gonna click on Chrome here where it says Chrome and the one I like I think that I'm gonna use is Merbivore Soft whatever a Merbivore is I don't know but there's a ton of these things, and they all look kind of different. So whatever you happen to like is fine with me. I have a feeling some of you are going to use Dracula. I don't know. But I'm going to go with Merbivore Soft. I think it's easy on the eyes, easy to see. And let's go ahead and maximize this. I forgot to tell you about that. You just maximize it. Now let's go make a simple edit just to test and make sure that our project is working. So I'm going to scroll down, scroll down, and find... Um, uh, where the header starts. Um, instead of a warm welcome, I want it to say edited with carrot. Like that. And just like any other editor that you guys are used to using, we can go up to file and save or control s to save the file and the last thing we're going to do is minimize here and go back to where we opened the page in the browser a minute ago remember this is a local file now and it started out as a warm welcome we edited it to say edited with carrot so now i will refresh and lo and behold it worked so, if you got this far, that means you successfully installed the code editor that we're going to use. You downloaded and extracted a bootstrap template, and then you made a simple edit and checked it out with inside of the web browser itself. So this is just the first part of a, a series. So, if you guys have any trouble, feel free to email me. Thanks.